Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill Wyatt, and we're still stuck on this subject of restorative dentistry mixing with orthodontics. And you can do a lot of things with this. It just makes it sound more complicated, but it's not. And uh, I think everybody out there that's doing restorative dentistry ought to know what can be done orthodontically. And if you want to study and be and know something about orthodontics, join the American Association of Orthodontics. We've got a wonderful headquarters in Grapevine, Texas, and you can fly in from anywhere in the United States in about two hours, and they'll pick you up at the hotels. They'll pick you up at the airport for just about five uh, I don't know, just a few miles away from the airport. It may take you a little longer than that, but the hotels will pick you up and they'll take you back to the uh, to your flight when you get ready to go. So let's get about it as close as we can say to helping anybody anywhere know this orthodontics. If you're going to do some real restorative dentistry and do it, using the teeth a person has, if you possibly can. That's the best way to do it. So I'm going to get into this case right here, and it's an interesting case. Young man is. He started out and he has a, a bunch of missing teeth. And so we're going to work on him. And this is just plain orthodontics. You put the rest of the teeth in the place where they were originally going, and you try to work this out. Now he's got a little uh, curve in the chin. It's off to the uh, left just slightly. Not bad, nice looking young man. And you, somebody needs help. And he's age 12, just about 13 years of age. And uh, this is a cephalometrics, which I don't let tell me what to do exactly, but it's good to see the airway is good and a lot of things are good showing it in here. Now here is his uh, Panrex x-ray showing, I mean he's missing teeth here and teeth over here on this side. If we had anything back in the back, if he had wisdom teeth, I would certainly move those teeth up in here and and have a less of a length of the bridge. He's got a fused tooth back in this area over here. It looks like it's fused together. Here's an upper wisdom tooth, but then we don't have any teeth out up there. And I'm not good enough to remove one like here. You can take that away and come down and put it in here. And sometimes they'll take, uh, if he but I don't think that was an expensive procedure there that he could do that. So anyway, we've got to deal with this like it is. Now here we are just showing some places, lining the teeth up and everything. And this is 1988, and he's age 15 and one, and we are working on that with some large arch wires in there with just acrylic saddles in them and we built around these little homemade uh, retainers like you uh, and so we opened it up and we put an archway around here and we put a pad on it and one over on this side too so we could put the, the level of all the teeth together and we would come in and close these gaps in the front. Just regular orthodontics, you see. I came along with an arch where I come down, come over here and then come up. And if I'm intruding, you can hook this up and make this be an intruding wire. Where we come over here, you reach up, close that, pulls that down. There's a lot of simple, regular orthodontic procedures in here and working with this uh, case. And so here is an intruding arch wire. You see this spring on here? And this would be down here, you raise it up 
and you put your your regular you went through with one thing and you put another one pushing this down to level the bite out. All right, we leveled it up. He's got gaps all in there, and we're gonna close those up. And we get this, we put some little blocks on these teeth back here to get more pressure, so we reduce the, the height of the face in there a little bit. Now this is a fused tooth right here. There's two teeth growing together. So we pull it up and we come back in and probably trim this off and make this look a little bit like uh, a lateral and a cuspid. All right, we put this acrylic on a little wire in here, just put these saddles and he wears that to chew on this so that it holds these upper teeth at a certain height in there, the way we're doing that. Now here we open the bite a little, they're chewing on that. And this is further on down the line. And we'll close it, the gaps up. We've got rectangular wire in there. We've still got the intruding wire on there. Now here we're closing out the upper. We're getting this better. And we're lining this up and made the, the arch form here much better. And this is the part, we get this fused tooth lined up in here. And now we're going to come back to this area too. And then we will have to go on from here. We're, I need to get rid of that. Uh-oh, it screwed up. <laughs> Let me see now. All right, sorry for the sorry for the delay here. Now the, we have nothing to put in this area here or this area, so we'll end up with a retainer that has a an acrylic pad in here that they bite on to keep the teeth lined up like that, and he can come in and put bridge work in there. He can crown onto these fused teeth in a molar and put a bridge in on both sides and have teeth there. Now that's just acrylic to keep that low in that place. So we'll have to end up with a case with a lower retainer that has a pad for the teeth to come down and meet on and then he can go get bridge work done and as soon as he can afford it. I don't know where he could do it or not. All right, here is the thing. This is a little bit further down the line. And we continue on with that. We keep working on it and get this going good. And I think what happened in here, we didn't bridge that, they would just make a partial and leave these fused, two fused teeth like that. At least I didn't get it recorded here. They got a bridge. We came in there with a the bridge instead of the uh, removable partial. Now we're closing that, closing up some of the space. And here we are, 88. And we're just about ready to close out on this case. And here it is in 086 when we started. And here it is in 88 when we had pretty well finished, except we had a little acrylic saddle in there on both sides of the mouth and hold the teeth in that position. And you have that 
bridge or whatever is there is going to fit in that gap. And they've opened the bite. And this is restorative dentistry mixed with orthodontics. I mean, it, it doesn't matter how much orthodontics you have or how much restorative dentistry you have, just pure restorative dentistry. Everybody's doing restorative dentistry ought to know something about orthodontics. And that is a fact. And you can learn that with the AOS. Uh, they will teach you that. And they know how to do that. And so get in and learn and do this because there'll be different ways of restorative dentistry that can be mixed with orthodontics. And this is how it is. This is 93, and he's an older young man. And he wears that deal to keep the teeth from dropping down into those uh, gaps. Here's his upper teeth now. And this is 1986, where he was, and he had these baby teeth, and those were removed. And now we come in, and there's a retainer that he wears on the bottom to hold it in place, and everywhere. And here is our man. He was off to the left just slightly. You can still feel it more. As he got older, his chin grew out a little bit, but he's got a very nice smile. The line, I see the, uh, the gum line a little bit more than I'd like to, but this is a much better way to do this. Now, you can bridge it or put implants or whatever he wants to do, but you've got him up there where you can finish him now he's grown so you can do final uh, implants in there on this young man. So thank you for watching and I'm going to close up again and we'll just say goodbye until the next time and I hope you'll tune in and sign up as ours.